the odds of a of spot ETF being approved were one percent six months ago. Then they went to fifty percent, and this morning they were sixty-five percent. Major news in crypto today involving WorldCoin, the Litecoin having OpenSea, Cur Finance, but very quickly, Michael Saylor's MicroStrategy just returned to profit and now owns $4.4 billion worth of Bitcoin. MicroStrategy, the largest publicly traded holder of Bitcoin, returning to profitability. This after taking an impairment charge of nearly a billion dollars last year. EPS exceeded estimates but missed revenue expectations, adding more Bitcoin to its balance sheet. And this is coming off the recent announcement from Michael Saylor that in July, MicroStrategy acquired an additional 467 BTC. And in a new CNBC interview today, Michael Saylor addresses why Bitcoin is going up. So in terms of, of this rally we have seen in Bitcoin, what do you attribute it to, especially on a day where we've seen other folks who are invested in the asset class say soft landing is really what the rally is contingent upon? Well, really, there's a growing consensus that Bitcoin is unique and valuable international act, uh, asset, and that's being endorsed by politicians. It's being endorsed by regulators. It's being endorsed by investors. You're hearing money managers like Larry Fink say this. And uh, and that has created a change in sentiment. You know, the 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 odds of a of spot ETF being approved were one percent six months ago. Then they went to 50 percent. And this morning they were 65 percent, according to Bloomberg analysts. So a Bitcoin spot ETF is more of a certainty now than ever. And I loved this follow up question from the news anchor. Would a spot Bitcoin ETF be good news because it's a tied that lifts all boats in terms of the price of Bitcoin and thus the price of MicroStrategy shares? Or is it something that could actually dent your investor base as you see some folks that are invested in MicroStrategy specifically to have a liquid option in Bitcoin shift there? Well, I think a spot ETF is great news for the space. Uh, Bitcoin, you could think of as this uh, beautiful house in a scary neighborhood that you have to pay for in cash, takes a year to buy and you can never rent it. The spot ETF is like that same beautiful house in a, in a nice neighborhood and you can buy it tomorrow, no money down, and you can rent it and refinance it from your bank. Uh, it's not a threat to MicroStrategy. MicroStrategy is like that beautiful house with 10,000 acres of ranch land behind it that generates cash flow that has a management team that can, uh, you know, can borrow money at one, two percent interest in order to develop the land. So we offer yield and we offer leverage through active management. Which is, uh, which is unique for a set of our investors. We obviously don't have room in our capital structure for tens of billions of dollars of sovereign wealth or major hedge funds. So they need a spot ETF in order to take a position in the space. Now, probably the biggest news and something many of you have been asking me about is WorldCoin. But very quickly, the Litecoin halving has been completed, meaning the block reward is again cut in half. And because Bitcoin's halving is happening next year, Let's look historically and talk about what Litecoin is going to do next based on every other LTC having. We can see Litecoin either drops down drastically, then consolidates, goes sideways, or also over time, over the next one, two, three, four, five, six, several months, Litecoin dips post having in part because often there was a rally into each having. And thus far, history is rhyming a little bit. We did see a rally of Litecoin into this halving. As per post having tendencies, here's what to expect in the coming months. LTC may experience a deep retracement. And historically, LTC has retraced from negative 73% post having. Now checking in on other coins. Again, you subscribe to Altcoin Daily for a daily breakdown, keeping you informed. The number one NFT marketplace is making news. As of today, OpenSea allows you to list items with zero royalties. That means projects can now earn nothing from the products they put out. But don't worry, OpenSea still gets to make some money. So this is something that has changed. Creator earnings, you can now put zero. Now, some people do say this has been out for a while, I believe, but still a shame. And for me, this means we need competition against OpenSea because with competition, more competition in the marketplace, consumers benefit. Now, an update on sponsor of the channel, XCAD. 
as you know, we did a video a few months ago on how to earn cryptocurrency just by watching YouTube. But since the last time we spoke and just looking at the watch to earn hashtag on Twitter, XCAD did release their legendary NFT nerd. We have been earning off the rare nerd. So today I want to mint a legendary and start earning with that. As you can see, we're waiting. And boom, activate. And we can see right in the extension, all the different creators we can earn from. And again, the catch is you do have to watch at least 80% of each video. And boom, after five videos watched, we have definitely earned. Well, we started with this. We're now up to 33.27 thousand play tokens, which at the time of recording is around 2.37 thousand dollars USD. I will keep you updated on this. And if you want to start earning while watching YouTube videos, link down below. Check it out. Major news for WorldCoin. WorldCoin suspended in Kenya as thousands queue up for free money. So as a reminder, WorldCoin was founded by U.S. tech entrepreneur Sam Altman. And in exchange for your data, WorldCoin gives people digital coins in exchange for a scan of their eyeballs. The news today is this. While thousands of Kenyans have been queuing up at registration centers this week to get around $49 worth of WorldCoin, Kenya has warned citizens to be cautious giving their data to private companies. And in a statement from the Communications Authority of Kenya, they said, they had concerns about how the biometric data was stored, offering money in exchange for data, and then having so much data in the hands of private companies. So they have officially launched an investigation against WorldCoin, and the launch of WorldCoin in general sparks a debate over data privacy and the future of AI. What I'd say about AI is AI is devaluing assets that are created with pure information or white collar type straightforward labor. And AI is going to uh, in accrete value to assets that are energy rich. You know, that, that acre of beachfront property in Palm Beach that a, an AI can't create, uh, Bitcoin AI can't create. And ultimately, um, Bitcoin is the solution to a lot of problems AI creates. And if I was looking at the AI revolution, I would think, how do I buy scarce desirable assets that the computer can't spin out of thin air. And if you own those, then you're going to be good because the stuff that the AI creates in a split second, that's going to get devalued. Now, many of you have been asking me for an update on this Curve issue. On July 30th, Curve Finance, a decentralized exchange in Ethereum, suffered a hack due to a vulnerability in certain pools built using the Viper programming language. So after this hack happened, the next day, the decline in the token, CRV, continued to a seven month low of around 48 cents amid fears of liquidation of hefty loans worth over a hundred million dollars taken by the Curve Finance founder against the native token as collateral. So there was a lot of fear in the air. However, as of today, positive developments such as partial repayment of loans and significant negative bets in the derivatives market suggest that CRV, the token, may rally in the short term. So things are starting to look better. Jury is still out on how this will unfold for Curve Finance. I'll keep you updated. Anybody in the Amsterdam area in October, be sure to join us at Bitcoin Conference Amsterdam, October 12th and 13th. Aaron and I will be there, come hang out with us, and use code altcoindaily, link down below, altcoindaily, for 10% off your ticket.